great. Hi, I'm Ben. And I'm MP. And we just bought a boat that needs a little bit of work done. We are both rookies when it comes to boat ownership and carpentry. So this is going to be a steep learning curve. Luckily, we found an amazing team of shipwrights who accepted the mission of bringing our boat back to life and are now rebuilding a bow with hand tools, ancient knowledge and a lot of passion. Join us on this thrilling journey and wish us luck. So this is the last time we're going to see this in such a bad shape. So this is where lots of water actually collected over in this corner because it was like there was no escape for the water here. So this has caused all that to rot. Also there's a few more things in here we want to fix but for now this over here let's see if we can put out these holes and these are all going to go away. So where this beam is over there that's all going to be cut from here to there and we're going to replace all these planks but to do that this has to come off and we're also going to replace a lot of this bad wood over here so i'm going to try and get this off in one piece it looks like it's been nailed on over here without it breaking One more thing that's happening is over here you can see we finished the deck but now we've got the uh, cover board done above the transom. So now the rest of the decking can be done which is super cool because we will have the full starboard deck including the bit in the, the aft saloon, the upper, upper saloon and then we'll have the forward deck and we'll be able to walk all the way around except for of course the port aft side which we're still waiting for that cover board but all that it's being done today. Right, MP. Right. MP, what? our boat's being destroyed again. I know. Anyway, it's for the good. Yeah, it's true. So what's nice about that is uh, we're not like removing the roof of the housing area of the superstructure because it's in good shape, but we want to just do a few fixes where water did get in and it did cause rot. So that's the plan now. Uh, I did say that we're going to cut it in a straight line to remove the wood but it's going to be cut in a zigzag because you should never have two joints in the same place for structural reasons and also for waterproof reasons so you should go and have a look okay here bye <laughs> I'm not gonna get too close now because they are sending the fiberglass but when they finish I'll go to have a closer look and I'll show that to you as well and explain why that bit is so in a bad shape so here if you can see it goes like this and then there again that's what Ben meant by zigzag and the reason why this bit here was brought in of course it accumulated some rainwater there but also because there was a shower over there that was always making this part wet unfortunately but now it's getting fixed 
unfortunately. Well, Ness and Nico are working on the window of the pilot house over there. On this side, we have more duck playing groups coming. I think it's time to test it. How? Stand on it. Whoops. Go. Really? Go. Let's test the ball. Everything is done except for that little gap. But as you see, if you look from close, it has a very funny angle. So that's why the template is taking a bit long to happen. But they're on it. So we'll be ready, guys.
snail meant that starboard deck is now completely ready so technically we can walk all the, around from all the way there to all the way on the other side of port deck where the deck starts to be built but that's amazing that now all this is just deck So that hatch is now finally kind of ready, except the lid for it is not ready, but we're gonna not rush that because have a look what just arrived. Finally! <laughs> <laughs>
This was the missing piece of the puzzle until now. So now this is going to be in place. We can then put that in place and we can just finish the boat completely. All of it. Up to the mast. And I need to get a turn. Don't film me now. Hey, what happened? So dirty. This will be, well, it is already the lid of our hatch that's in the bow that we're gonna use as a storage room. And it's almost ready. You can see the planks here with the little groove in between. The difference is, you can see here, this is the fake groove that's just for the looks, you see, and it's quite thick. But this, the real gray groove, is still not grave groove that was dark the real groove is quite thin so that's what's missing we still need to cut the little bevel maybe yeah to make them all look the same and also so we can fit the coking easy and yes enjoyed that show first time I've silicone corked anything I've been like the grooves so we'll see how this goes before I do the whole deck and let's go back to the big business because the last cover board is going on board is being installed right now right there and why is that such an important moment because we were waiting for this for so long we didn't have wood for it now we finally have the wood and we can finally make it and once that's ready it's not just oh, okay the covering board's ready nice 
that means so much can happen because that's ready. We can continue finishing the deck, for example. We can finish installing those columns. We can come up with a bulwark. Like so, so much can happen just because that's being installed right now. So this is huge. This is super, super, super cool. Tabika, our covering board, were installed today. What does that mean? Yeah, everything's gonna go so fast right now. So the next is the columns for the bulwark, gunwale, bulwark. Yeah, <laughs> and the deck, and the bulwark itself, and the everything else. And the everything else! <laughs> it's gonna go so quickly. And I was topless today because it was so hot. And now I think it dropped down to maybe five degrees. Is the it? wind. Yeah, the wind's quite cold. Anyway, it's freezing and we're all leaving now. It's the end of the day. Tomorrow, the next steps are to just fasten this cover board onto the boat and then more of these holes are going to be made, which is probably the most repetitive work of the whole boat. Yeah. It's hammer and chisel. But look, follow me. No cow, it's not fastened yet. So yeah, now we've got all the wood that we need to almost finish, well, at least finish the biggest parts of this boat. So we can start, well, these cover boards are now all in place and all fastened. The holes are being made still on the other side. All the rest is already done. I've been going along and filling up all these holes that have, that, that have been used to countersink the screws and the nuts. So that's all been done as well. I've been going over the walls with all the Sika Flex again making sure all the gaps are filled. I'll let that all dry. Now what Nezo and Nico are doing is the next big step is to continue placing all those columns for the bulwark, which are gonna finish going all the way around. Once they are done, we can start putting the bulwark itself. Uh, we're missing one more plank there and the top plank of the housing area or the superstructure. So that's gonna be done. And I think it's gonna look like almost finished by then. Of course, we've still got lots of the smaller systems to do and windows and vents and all that. But the wood part, the biggest part of the wood part will have been done already. So that's amazing. I think it's going to look, make a huge difference looks wise. Time to claim the supporters of the week. 